Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when Qualcomm Ethros QCA61X4A wireless adapter is not working. So in device manager, over here, if you see yellow triangle or if you are receiving error code 10, 43, 56 or 39. So if you're facing any kind of connectivity issue with this adapter, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to perform power cycle to perform power cycle shut down your computer so first of all shut down your computer now once you shut down your computer unplug the power cable from the computer so disconnect the charger from the computer in case of laptop in case of desktop disconnect the power cable from the computer then press and hold the power button on the computer on the computer you have the power button to start or turn off your computer so Press and hold the power button. After you unplug the power cable, press and hold the power button for a few seconds. For maybe 20 to 30 seconds, you can press and hold the power button just to release the static electricity from the computer. Now, turn off your Wi-Fi router. So, switch off your Wi-Fi router and then wait for a few seconds and then restart your Wi-Fi router. And after you restart your Wi-Fi router, now restart your computer. And after the system restart, now to now try to connect to your Wi-Fi. Now the next step is to make sure Wi-Fi is on in system BIOS. So shut down your computer first. And after you shut down your computer, go to your system BIOS. To go to the system BIOS for most of the computer, when you start the computer, as soon as you start the computer, immediately keep on tapping the F2 key and it will take you to the system BIOS. Now in system BIOS, make sure Wi-Fi is on. Now, next step is to run Network Troubleshooter. For this, go to the Start menu, then click on Settings. Now, if you have Windows 11, then click on System, and then click on Troubleshoot. If you have Windows 10, click on Update and Security. You will find Update and Security when you open Settings, and then click on Troubleshoot. Now, click on Other Troubleshooters or Additional Troubleshooters. Now, find Network Adapter in the list. In Windows 10, simply click on Network Adapter and then you will see the option which says Run the Troubleshooter. So click on Run the Troubleshooter in Windows 11. Click on Run over here and let the troubleshoot complete. Now once the troubleshoot is complete, restart your computer and then connect to your Wi-Fi. And that should fix the problem. Now the ne next step is to run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. So type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app, then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you're opening command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste all the command one by one. Paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now copy the second command, paste it, hit the enter key. Again, copy the third command, paste it, hit the enter key. Now run the next command. Hit the enter key. Now run the last command. Hit the enter key. Now once this is done, make sure that you restart your computer. So it's telling you to restart this computer. So just restart your computer. And after the system restart, connect to your Wi-Fi. Now the next step is to disable and enable a network adapter. For this, make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager. Now expand network adapter. In my case, it's Realtek adapter. This is my wireless card. In your case, select your network card over here and then make a right click, then click on disable all. This is just an example. I have a different network card. So select your network card and then make a right click, then click on disable device. Click on yes. Again, make a right click and then click on enable device. And now connect to your network. Now the next step is to start WLAN auto config service. For this type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find WLAN services. So over here you can see WLAN auto config. So make a double click on WLAN auto config and then set it to automatic. Click on apply. 
click on start if highlighted and then click on ok with this selected over here make a right click then click on restart now try to connect to your wi-fi now the next step is to perform network reset now to, before you perform network reset make sure that you have the wi-fi password because once you perform network reset it will be asking your wi-fi password to connect so to perform network reset go to the start menu then click on settings now click on network and internet now click on advanced network settings in windows 10 simply scroll down at the end you will find reset reset network in windows 11 click on advanced network settings and then you will see network reset option click on it then click on reset now now it, click on yes now once you click on yes your system might restart and after the system restart connect to your wi-fi once again and it will be asking for your password so enter the password next step is to reinstall reinstall network driver for this make a right click on the start menu then click on device manager expand network adapter now over here select your network card make a right click then click on uninstall device and then click on uninstall you can put a check over here and then click on uninstall and after the uninstall once the uninstall is complete restart your computer now restart is a must so after you uninstall your network card make sure that you restart your computer now during the system restart windows will try to install the default driver for your network card and then you can connect to your wi-fi it will be asking for your password enter the password and connect to your network now the next step is to set wireless adapter settings to maximum performance for this type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel now go to system and security now click on power options now click on change plan settings click on change advanced power settings now over here expand wireless adapter settings and expand power saving mode and on battery or plugged in select maximum performance so select maximum performance in both the case and then click on apply ok and then try to connect to your wi-fi next step is to install wireless driver from your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have lenovo computer go to lenovo website if you have hp computer go to hp website so go to your system manufacturer website and then to install the driver you need internet connection you need active internet for this you can connect ethernet cable so if your computer has a ethernet port and if your computer has a, if you have a ethernet cable and if your computer has a ethernet port you can connect ethernet cable go online and go to your system manufacturer website select your model number this is just an example i'm showing for lenovo you can go to dell hp asus whichever brand you have go to your system manufacturer website enter your select your model number and then you can find the driver for your network card and then click on download and once the download is complete this is just an example download the file install the file so you need internet connection for this so if your computer has a ethernet port and if you have a ethernet cable you can go online and then install the wireless driver from your system manufacturer website now in case if you if you don't have the ethernet cable or your computer does not have a ethernet port in that case you can use another computer with internet access so if you have another computer with internet access you can download the wireless driver to the usb flash drive or external hard drive and then you can connect the usb flash drive and hard drive to the computer on which wi-fi wi is not working you can install the driver you can transfer the file the while the driver once you download it now once you click on download once the download is complete you can once the download is complete over here once the download is complete transfer this file to your external hard drive or flash drive you can copy and transfer this file to your external hard drive or flash drive and then connect the hard drive or flash drive to the faulty computer where wireless is not working and then install the driver over there 
and after the installation you connect to your Wi-Fi. Now the next step is to update your system BIOS. To update your system BIOS, again go to your system manufacturer website. So again, if you have Ethernet cable and if your computer has an Ethernet port, you can go online using Ethernet cable and then select your model number. And this is just an example I'm showing for Dell. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then select the BIOS file. Select the BIOS file and then click on download. Now, once the download is complete, run this file and then update your system BIOS. Now, in case of laptop, make sure the battery on your computer is more than 10% and make sure charger is connected to the computer. So during the BIOS update, do not unplug the power cable. Make sure power cable is connected all the time because the system will restart during the BIOS update and after this BIOS update, log into your computer and then you can check the Wi-Fi. Now, if you don't have an Ethernet cable, then again, you can use another computer. So you can download the BIOS file, transfer the BIOS file to external hard drive or flash drive, and then connect the flash drive or hard drive to the computer and then update your system BIOS. Now, the next step is to reset your computer. To reset your computer, go to the start menu, then click on settings. In Windows 10, click on update and security and then click on recovery. In Windows 10, click on Windows update, then click on advanced option, then click on recovery. And then here you can see reset PC. Now, before you perform reset, make sure that you create a backup before the reset because during the reset, you might lose all the data, your personal data and application on the computer. So create a backup before reset. So click on reset and then here you can see two options, keep my files, which will remove application and settings, but it will keep your personal file In remove everything. It will remove all your personal file application and setting. So select the option which you want and then click on reset. Now during the reset, your system will restart and then set up your computer and then connect to your Wi-Fi. So after the reset, you can connect to your Wi-Fi. So one of the steps should help you to get your network card working. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the wireless adapter working. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.